Hello, family and friends. Welcome right on into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird, Alpha Lucas. Come on in. Let's get you a message. All right, sexy Alpha Lucas. You are a constellation. You are not a sign, right? So anyone that is born under this constellation can and will resonate with this message. All right, Alpha Lucas. You know the drill. The energy between you and your person can fluctuate back and forth. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and that's no energy. Any karmic energies it will be sun moon and rising guys okay my messages are timeless so whenever you are seeing this message you are supposed to see this and receive it let's go messages for the collective where are we going oh my beautiful universal holy spirits messages for the collective for alpha lucas what do they need to know Alpha Lucas, you can have an ancestor that used to serve in the army. I'm picking up on, this would be um, a great ancestry. Some of you guys could have just learned something through Ancestry.com. Okay. All right. What's going on? Okay. Okay. The Knight of Wands energy. Someone here, there's a lot of, okay, someone here wants to take a chance to come towards you. Someone here wants to take a chance and come towards you. Yes, they do. Six of Wands energy. This is someone that does plan on taking, um, being victorious. Now, this is also someone here, um, could be Aqua area. This is someone here for some of you guys. This is someone that wants to heal something. This could be someone that's been on a healing journey and I've also been victorious in it as well. Their decisions is being made here. Arian energy there. Yeah, they feel like you you are spiritually connected. This is a spiritual conversation and a spiritual channel. So, all your connections are spiritual when you come here. Good, bad, and the ugly. That was a damn okay. Moment. Um, this is also someone from your past. If you're on here for someone from your past for some time now, they've been making this decision. It's faded here. Yeah. This is also so, this person finds you very, very attractive. This Knight of Ones and the Queen of Ones. That's that um Arian and uh Piscean energy here. They like that. King of Swords, Aqua, what Arian and Capricorn there, the Sun Court, Leo energy there. What else? Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we have the Page of Disc. Now, someone here definitely wants to have a conversation with you. This person definitely wants to talk to you. So you know that the King of Swords and the Two Ones, they've been deciding for some time on how to take action. Whether this is a man or a woman, this person is coming in their feminine energy, but they're very fiery when they are going to uh, speak. All right, uh, for some of you guys. Um, that's they've been thinking about this um, and they're ready to make this offer Queen of Swords, the Sun card, and the Page of Pentacles now this is someone here that does want things to kind of start off they're going to let things kind of go with the flow go with the energy is what I'm seeing here's the card that they're showing me so I'll make sure that I will pull that deck Now, someone could want to know if you, um, and I picked this up before. Okay, someone, someone could feel like you might be avoiding them because you're pregnant. Now, I don't know who you are. That could be a small person in you, if you are, especially if you are a fire or a water sign. Okay, but this person definitely is making a decision to come towards you. They're very passionate about this. They think about this. Someone here also watches you through your kid's profile online, just so you know that. And be careful of, um, yeah, an older guy here looking and liking children. I don't know who this is. This could be someone in a park. I don't know where that's coming from. All right. Something like that. Now, for others of you guys, there could be an age difference between you and this person. And there also could be different ethnic backgrounds between you and this person. Mm -hmm. This is someone that, that definitely wants to take a chance. Someone, This is also someone here that wants to take you dancing. This person could like going dancing. All right, some of you guys definitely Bonnie up um, every night. You even put Bonnie's on your kids or your kids also wear Bonnie's. 
All right, so for your angel number is um, two six. Someone here could be between the ages of 26 and um, 62. Okay, guys, you can add up your numbers any way you like, even single digitally your angel numbers. Okay, guys, now I'm going to do 62. I will hashtag both of them down below. That was the one that I am called to do. 62 shows up over and over in your life. It is in sign from your angels, and abundance will soon be coming in. I told you, yeah, this person here, um, this is abundance. Now, abundance is not always financial. You guys know that. There's abundance in the many different forms. This, this person wants to be abundant towards coming towards you in a situation. They plan to be successful. I saw that um, here. This is also someone here that could have been planning for something for over some time. Here, it might be a big surprise because it'll start off something slow and then it could turn on something big with the sun card is also uh, a fulfillment card. Okay. And if this is someone new, then that's what's going on here as well. Can I see? Um, This is good energy. This is good energy, Alpha Lucas. What's the King of Swords? Yeah, honey, they want to connect with you. Seven of Pentacles. Someone here might get some money, honey. Um, they could have even been saving money. Someone here might not want you to know how much money they really got. <laughs> so you know that. Like, they're going to, you know, start you off with small offers, small things. What's the King of Swords? That could be, you know, this person, little things make this person happy, honey. Yeah. Damn it. Mm, the Ace of Cups, honey. I can't make it up. They love you. They like you. They want you. The Six of Cups is someone from your past. This person has been dwelling a lot about the cup energy. This ace of cups and the ten of cups, and they want this. I told you, this could start off small, but it's going to turn into ultimate fulfillment, honey. This is the ace of cups, baby. When it comes to the cups, it don't get bigger than that. With the ten of cups, quit playing with me. Damn it. All right. Stressing me out. Now, this, is, this person here um, is a little bit, uh, could be under a lot of stress. This could be a businessman. A king of swords could definitely be a businessman. This person here um, wants to come home to a happy home. For some of you guys, this is some, a lot of you guys, this is a new person that you're uh, coming towards you out for Lucas. They, you know, they could be also older as immature. They're ready for the Ace of Cup energy. They see that with you. They just, they want to come home to a happy family. And this is also, for some of you guys, this is, like I said, if this is your past and someone's coming in brand new, yeah, they hang, man. Yeah, honey, uh-uh, they coming in, child. All right. What's going on? Ooh. Yeah, the Queen of Sword. They want to have a yeah. They want to have a strong conversation uh, with you. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. Someone here does have a pick between two people, whether this is you or this person. Show me the Queen of Wands. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Cards be popping. Okay. So either you're worried or they're worried about how you're going to perceive this. How is this going to play out? There's a lot of worries coming out with this new moon energy. I did a reading, very strong Anubis channel message I got out for you guys. Make sure you take a look at that because I always tell you, pay attention to the alignments of the planet and moon energies because it's how the readings are going to play out. Sword energy, Libra energy, Gemini energy, Aqua Aryan energy. Gemini, the lover's card. Okay, yeah. They don't, Um, someone here, yeah, you know. They're nervous. Honey, they nervous. Yep, about this Ten of Cups. Someone here don't know how the conversation is going to play out. Child. Oh, my God. Uncle Arian, I can't make it up. They're hard here. Child told you. Because there's been some time here. But you are ultimate fulfillment to this person. Okay. What's, um, what's the page of pentacles? Hmm. Okay. So, look, page of pentacles in reverse. I told you, they're afraid you... Someone here juggles back and forth. Yes, they do. Um, here, they could be extremely emotionally uh, um, upset, but morally, mentally extinguished in anguish. Um, ang anguish, thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, about um, this connection here, because they don't know... They're extremely nervous about this conversation and how you're going to take it. 
the, um, here, I mean, they are extremely nervous. They're actually like more, def they, it's like, you know, before they walk out, they kind of defend their own self with coming towards you. Yeah, honey, the tarot card. Like, no, that's going to blow up in my face. No, yeah, here, I shouldn't do that. I'm, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And it end up like not happening sometimes. And, and for some of you guys, someone here does have other options, whether this is you or them. And they could be struggling there a little bit, too, just so you know that. What is going on? What is more the situation? Yeah, lies you tell, the last laugh. For some of you guys, you're having the laugh last because of a lie that was told here from this person. Mm -hmm. The last laugh came back out. But they want a strong connection with you. Some of you guys could have a headache right now. Damn. Healing bandages and soul tie. Yep, they want to heal this. Yeah, and for some of you guys, told you they do want sex. You affected this person. All right? You really, really did. Now, someone here altered in a spell recipe so someone here could be definitely into some kind of spell work here all right this is this, for some yeah just so you know that all right you could be messing with there's some spell work that's been done they're called also which we know in the full moons there's always some kind of somebody doing some spell work child what else is new some of you guys could have a vanity set you got like you keep like a little mirror and shit on it um some of you if this person has an uncle um, on their, if this is an altar, someone here has a small moon ball and an onk and red or orange kind of flowers. They can even have like spiritual markings, spiritual pictures also on this altar here. Someone here also works with coffee beans. Someone here can also have messages. I heard petitions. They also make offerings. Okay, but someone here has been thinking a lot. They are guilty here. They're a little bit upset in their feelings about the lies that they told you. All right. Let's get some um, written messages from this person. What is the written messages for the collective? All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. You are perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. Okay, there's someone here that found you mighty. Yeah, the Queen of Wands usually is. Okay, one day I believe we'll be together again. I can't make it up. Boom, that's what it is. I kick myself for, for, for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. My pride and ego got in the way. Mm -hmm. And the King of Swords can be extremely fed when it comes to pride and ego. Okay, I look at your pictures for hours on end. You are still beautiful. Queen of Wands energy, honey. You still sexy. I feel shame for how I treated you, and I don't deserve... You didn't deserve that. Yeah. All right. And you made them see something about their self and sad to their self that they actually grown to hate. Okay? And it you was a damn it moment. Wait for yeah. it. Yeah. Damn it. And they hate that shit. All right, let's get the overall messages. emotions and receptive this is someone that wants to be emotionally receptive wants you to be emotionally receptive to them someone someone here just left the barbershop this person could get like beijings color tints um they could have just got their beard someone here has a beard they get like shaped up at the shop or a hairdresser something like that They might know somebody. All right. Something like that. Your masculine can have some big ass ears. I don't know who this for. I'm not saying that to be rude. Like, I mean, they might have sounded strong. <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, we all got something big shit. Oh, okay. Clarity. This person's coming to give you clarity. They admire you. All right. Love. Yeah. And they have feelings. And they're recognizing these. And this is how they're recognizing you. Yeah, guys. Shit, you might like to pull on your person's big ass ears if you know what I mean. Uh, damn it! I'm Shit. so okay. Off. 
All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get you guys a, a love oracle message. Okay. So love oracle message for the collective. Just the love oracle message for the collective. Uh huh. They want to grow things. They want this connection to grow. Yeah, this is someone that's coming back to resolve conflict with you. Point blank, period. And I told you, they have a lot of sexual energy towards you. They expect sex. This could be also makeup sex as well for some of you guys that's coming in. What I tell you, abundance, your spiritual number. This abundance is coming in reconnection and in love. Okay? Here. And for some of you guys, after you guys make up, there will be makeup sex. And it's going to be good. It's going to actually help reconnect things. It's also going to help regrow things. And it will be abundant. Okay? Who's ever, you know, willing to take this person back as connecting with that part of the message. Okay? All right. Let's get you an oracle message. All right. We are rocking with this deck. Okay. Season and harvest connect with Gaia. Yeah, I've been picking up on a lot. Some of you guys could be doing some gardening work and stuff like that. It's Easter weekend. I know people do like Easter egg hunts and stuff like that. Healing waters. I told you this person wants to heal things with you. Oh, my beautiful universe. That's just for the collective. Some of you guys are drinking wine and champagne when you're cooking for Easter, or you got wine. Mm, just the oracle message. Yeah, affirmation for healing the heart. This person is working out of their heart chakra, honey. They coming towards you because fire magic. You could be connecting with another fire sign. And cleansing body and spirit. Yeah. And for some of you guys, someone here that does spell work is can't they also is this could be candles. Especially if they're red candles. I'm picking up on a lot of red. So be careful. Someone here trying to do like um for some of you guys, uh, that's coming back out. There's an energy of a love. So yeah, some shit like that. If your person was under a love spell, they cleanse that shit. Just so you know, because it is I saw I see that too. That's so why I'm not harping too much on that. Um, yeah. Uh, water magic. Yeah. Tears of sadness connect with Gaia. They want to connect with you here. And, you know, they are experiencing, you know, sadness. Someone here does, um, could have literally been crying as well. I picked that up as well. Alpha Lucas, um, in the, uh, all sound reading weekend reading. So you might want to take a look at that, guys. Okay. All right. Let's get your signs and planets. Okay. This is signs and planets for the collective. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Signs and planets for the collective. This is signs and planets. Mm -hmm. Cancer and Sagittarian. Uh-huh. All right. In, in, in any of your four uh, placements, guys, uh, we have partnerships. Okay. Yeah, this, partners, this person wants uh, to reconnect. They want a partnership. What I tell you, they're good at moon energy. Take a look at your Anubis full moon and Libra energy. Here it is. Capricorn, Sagittarian energy. You could be a uh, Leo. This person definitely learned a lesson about this connection here, honey. Oh, yeah, the sixth house. They did. And this, is, this person is stressed out. That house is also about health. You could also be a Virgo. You can also have a Leo, Sagittarian, or Cancer in your um, Saturn sixth house or moon sign yep this is coming in with rebirth okay a whole do ace of cup that's a new start all right let's get you some tea chow let's get your tea chow all right man all my beautiful universe and holy spirits Messages for the collective and what they need to know for this weekend. For Alpha Lucas, 
Keep in mind, um, Alpha Lucas, this energy can happen this weekend or even come towards you guys this weekend. That's a chance for Alpha Lucas. Oh, God damn. All right, we got a mixed race here. Um, baby's mom, baby's dad. Didn't I say that? Someone here could even be mixed. Or had two different ethnic backgrounds. Something like that. Someone here has a four-door car. My friends help me watch you. This person has a lot of respect. Yeah, conflict magic. Dating sites is here. Colored contacts is here. Someone here could be married. Someone here could have uh, short hair, guys. Someone here, sexual addictions. I told you this is a new beginning. Someone here could have red hair, fair side. Arian, Leo, and Sagittarian. Someone here could have also slept with someone's best friend. All right, Alpha Lucas, I hope this helped you out. And more ways than one and answer a lot of your questions. This is a good and amazing time to go ahead and hit that bell, connecting your frequency and your energy by liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting down below, guys. All right. That is important in tarot. So you are connecting and getting your messages. Okay. Now these are general messages. So at times part of the message will resonate and other times the full message will resonate with you guys. Alpha Lucas, I love you. I will catch you the next time you stop that. Ashe and Amon.